Thank you, Scholastic, for allowing us to read this book today. Our book is celebrating numbers one through 10. It's called 10 Black Dots by Donald Cruz. He is the author and the illustrator, so he wrote the words and he illustrated the pictures. 10 Black Dots. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What can you do with ten black dots? One dot can make a sun or a moon when the day is done. Two dots can make the eyes of a fox or the eyes of keys that open locks. Three dots can make a snowman's face or the beads for stringing on a lace. Four dots can make the seeds from which flowers grow or the knobs on a radio. Five dots can make buttons on a coat or the portholes on a boat. Six dots can make marbles that you can hold. Half are new and half are old. Seven dots can make the spots on a snake or the stones turned up by a garden rake. Eight dots can make the wheels on a train carrying freight through sun or rain. Nine dots can make toy soldiers standing in rank or the pennies in your piggy bank. 10 dots can make balloons stuck in a tree. Shake them, shake the branch and set them free. Count them. Are there really 10? Now we can begin again, counting dots from one to 10. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. T-H-E-E-N-D, the end. Hello, boys and girls. So we finished the story, 10 black dots. We have learned numbers one through 10. We've practiced writing numbers and counting numbers to 10. Let's practice on our 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So today we're going to open our math journal. We're still going to skip number zero. We finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today we're going to turn the page and look at the numbers zero through ten page. And it says, I always start my numbers at the top. So now I need to add my name to the beginning. I'm going to trace the words, I, that is a heart word. And then the word am, that is another very important word to learn. I am, and then I will write my name. So with your pencil, please do your best job writing your name. And then I have a little song we're going to learn about writing our numbers, and it goes like this. I always start my numbers at the top. The top. I always start my numbers at the top. The top. When I write another number, I get better, better, better if I always start my numbers at the top. The top. So now I'm going to take my pencil, and as I start at the top, I'm going to write the zero going around. And in the space next to it, I'm going to make my own. And the number one, I start at the top and a straight line down. And right next to it, make your own. 
And then we have the number two. I go at the top, up, and around and back. And now make your own, just like we've been practicing. Number three, I start at the top, around a tree, around a tree. That's the way to make a three. And now make your own, starting at the top. And the four is down across and down some more. That's the way to make a four. And then the five, we start at the top and we go down and around. Put on a hat. That makes five, just like that. Number six, we start at the top and we make a big hoop. And then make your own. Seven, we go across and slant down. And that's how we make number seven. Number eight, make an S and do not wait. That's the way to make an eight. And number nine, a hoop and a line makes the number nine. And for 10, it's a one and a zero. And now make a 10 all by yourself, a one and a zero. Great job, friends. When you're done, please take a picture of your hard work and send it to your teacher on your Seesaw Journal. Thank you.